Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and before we get going on this video, I wanna talk about this T-shirt. This was designed by Twitter user FoolWizard, and it's available in my shop, along with a couple other designs. If you go to the3dprintingnerd.com forward slash shop, you can pick one up for yourself. Now, let's get to the matter of hand. I wanna talk about Feet's shoes. In the last video, I said, I was going to use them for a week or so and then let you know of the results. That was like six weeks ago. I still owe you some thoughts and they're interesting thoughts. So uh, let's go outside to the backyard. After I produced that last video, I actually wore these shoes exclusively for one week. If I wasn't in bed, I had the shoes on. How did they work? Well, they worked out really well. Originally, I talked about the tops of the shoes not feeling very well when I would bend my feet like this, but after breaking them in, not only were they not nearly as tight, the tops were fine, everything turned out good. I tried with socks, I tried without socks, I tried jumping and walking and badly dancing. And the shoes after a week of use were fantastically comfortable. I really enjoyed wearing them, and I, after a week, preferred them to my normal tennis shoes. But there was a problem, and we're gonna go back inside, and we're gonna talk about it. Ah, uh, so we're back inside, we're in the studio, and let's talk about the shoes. There's lefty and righty. The shoes were great, and like I said, they were comfortable, but there was the problem. And the problem was, similar to my last shoes, the shoe started separating where the glue was supposed to be. And it's it's not a small separation, it's a large <laughs> separation. It's not apparent on this side, it's not apparent on this side, and it's not apparent on this side. So this was just one side of the shoe, unlike these, my previous shoes, which had separations all over. So what I did is I contacted Feats and I said, hey, look, even these new shoes you gave me to replace these shoes, well, they started separating. So what did Feats do? Feats sent me new shoes. That's right, I have three pair of 3D printed shoes now. And these don't look like they're separating yet. And just like in the email about these, these, they found a defect in some process and they fixed it and they, they sent me new shoes. So here's where it stands and here's kind of my, my thoughts on the issue. It's cool that Feats is great with customer service and they will, at the mention of anything wrong, replace your shoes, it seems. But one thing is interesting. In an email exchange I had with Feats, they mentioned something. They said, we are a technology company first that happens to make shoes. And I find that interesting because they're not a shoe company. They're not Nike, they're not Adidas. Nike, Adidas, Reebok, they're a shoe company that invests in technology around the shoes. Feats is saying they're a technology company that happens to make shoes. I have a software background. I've been in the software industry for more than 20 years. And usually in a case like this, if you have a company that has a technology that also happens to make a product, then, it, the product is just an example of the technology, and the product is never meant to be the best product it can be, it's just meant as a demonstration or an example of what the technology company can make. That worries me a little bit, because Feats isn't a product company that has some cool technology. They're saying they're a technology company that happened to have a product. So in the case of Feats, I've got now three pair of shoes, and if these break down and they find a problem with the process that made these, they will improve, iterate, and make me a fourth pair of shoes. That's not a bad thing, but I'm no longer a customer. If they keep iterating on the process and improving what they send me, then it's more like I'm a beta tester. And if they're a technology company that has a product, then they're never going to be done iterating on these shoes. They're always going to be finding a new, better way to demonstrate their technology. That's not bad, that's just the situation I believe we're in. Feats has been nothing but amazing to deal with. They've been very communicative and they've always answered emails in a timely fashion, which I certainly didn't. They're doing good things and I think that 
these shoes are expensive because they're new, they're first to the market, they're cutting edge, they're an example of technology that Feats has. And the price of these shoes is gonna go down as competitors rise up in the market. And once we have more 3D printed footwear available for us to choose from, then Feats will no longer be able to charge the premium that they are at this point. So in the long run, are these shoes worth the price that you pay? Well. That's completely and totally up to you, your financial situation, and your budget for footwear. I can tell you that these shoes are comfortable. I can tell you that these shoes break in after a few days. I can tell you that they begin to form around your feet and feel like a part of you. It's hard to explain, but they're incredibly comfortable once they break in. They are unique in style, and they may not be your favorite style, but they do provide a function, and they are good at that function. They just look different. In the end, I think it boils down to personal choice and whether or not you would pay money for these. Personally, I probably wouldn't. I usually go to the store and buy footwear that's cheap. My tennis shoes, I believe, were $35 on sale. I'm not a slave to any sort of fashionable trend, obviously, and I find that store-bought shoes that are inexpensive fit my feet just fine. If you want the comfort of a custom created shoe that's been digitally designed to wrap your foot exactly the way it should, maybe it's worth the extra money. Maybe that comfort that you want to feel is worth the extra money. It's completely and totally up to you and your bias towards your footwear. For now though, I'm going to continue to wear now these new shoes and I'll break them in and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or find me on Twitter or whatever, but I don't think I, I'm going to be making more sh videos on these shoes. If these fail and they send me a new pair, I'll keep using them. I will provide the beta feedback. I don't mind being a beta tester in that regard. Well, big thanks for watching. A big thanks for subscribing. I hope you found the information valuable in this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and, and hit that bell to be notified of when cool things show up. A big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon and YouTube Red and everybody that lets the ads play. And finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five. <laughs>